podcasts on unctv.org are made possible through the financial contributions of viewers like you, who invite you to join them in supporting UNCTV. Brad Wilson took on the role of president and CEO of Blue Cross and Blue Shield of North Carolina last fall. Mr. Wilson recently stopped by our studios to talk about his work since taking the helm of the health insurance company. He tells us about the status of health care in our state and initiatives the company is taking to help prevent health issues and lower health care costs. Mr. Brad Wilson, welcome back to North Carolina Now. Well, thank you for the invitation. Now, you've been at the helm of Blue Cross and Blue Shield of North Carolina for a little over a year. How has the adjustment gone? Well, what, it, what a year it has been. Uh, it's been a wonderful year, frankly, uh, Mitch. Um, I was privileged to be given the opportunity February 1 of 2010, and within six weeks, uh, the federal health care reform legislation was passed. All the rules changed. Wonderful opportunities for innovation and creativity were suddenly right at our doorstep. And with the wonderful employees at Blue Cross Blue Shield, we've been hard at work for the last now 18 months. So it's been very rewarding, uh, trying, but uh, also what a great opportunity to be in this position at this particular time in the history of health care. Now, of course, you talked about health care reform, and there are still debates going on about it. Some people are trying to put fault with the physicians, others with health care providers. At Blue Cross Blue Shield, what are you doing to bring about innovative and creative uh, programs uh, in health care? Well, we think about health care reform in two ways. Health care reform, meaning the legislation, the, the federal law that is uh, helping uh, revolutionize lots of things in health care. And then we also thinking about uh, thinking about health care reform in terms of market reform. Those things that need to take place and would be taking place even if there was not federal legislation. So on the first point, uh, we are working hard to be fully compliant with, with uh, the provisions of the statute that we all as health insurers and many other uh, aligned industries must comply with, and we're pleased to say that we're uh, on track and actually ahead in many, many regards. Uh, we are pleased that the federal health legislation will solve the problem or, or go a long way in address, uh, addressing the problem of access so that many, many people will no longer have to go to bed at night concerned about a health care circumstance that will bring a financial crisis to their family. Continuing with the legislation just a minute, we're also working hard in advising those that are interested in our point of view about how the legislation could be improved. We believe the mandate should be stronger, for example. So we're very much at work in leading and trying to influence those conversations about the federal legislation implementation. On the market reforms, where the, where the real innovation is taking place, uh, we've been working hard on collaborations with our provider partners across North Carolina to bring new ways to focus on quality and lower health care cost. We are trying to lead the conversation in a way away from the blame game that you just talked about. And I think you've probably seen some of our creative commercials on TV that speak to that. So uh, innovation, creativity, collaboration, and continuing to care about our communities. Those are the four watchwords that are guiding us in our market innovation efforts. Let's touch a little bit on some of the concerns of, of folks in North Carolina and, and beyond. Prescription costs. What is Blue Cross Blue Shield doing to perhaps try to lower prescription costs for some of, for some of its uh, folks who are involved with Blue Cross and Blue Shield? Well, prescription cost is one component of the over, overall health care cost equation. So let me talk about it a little more generally, and everything that I say is, is addressed to prescription. We must focus on increasing quality, that is, outcomes for patients when they interact with their medical professional. And in doing so, it will lower the cost. So preventive care, for example, getting that annual physical, so we have constructs within our products that encourage people to take advantage of the opportunity that they have to interact with their physician and get the kind of advice and guidance that they need to follow the old adage, I think it was Ben Franklin given credit for this many years ago, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. 
Nothing has ever been more true than that uh, today. We are encouraging people to pay attention to their own health and help take care of themselves. Through collaborations like with UNC Healthcare System, creating a new model of care, think about this, where you can go to one place and all of the care it is that you need is available and can be coordinated within a holistic construct. And so we're just so excited about that collaboration and we'll cut the ribbon on that new building and facility that will serve 5,000 of our customers later on this year and many, many more other innovative ideas. Also deductibles are concerns. Um, what are you looking at to try and lower deductibles? Well, it gets back to that affordability equation, Mitch. It, it's, it's trying to identify and bring all of the component parts of care together that will impact and lower medical cost, which then are reflected in ever-increasing insurance premiums. So while we can, uh, as, as your question implies, focus on one particular aspect, you really have to look at this in an integrated sort of way and try to bring all the components together that can lower that cost, healthcare cost, which would then be reflected in flatter or slower increases in health insurance premiums. Okay, I have to go back to something you touched on earlier. You were talking about scapegoats. So <laughs> you've had some interesting commercials to talk about the blame game. How important are these uh, commercials and the message you're trying to bring across? Well, it's been a wonderful campaign. And it spot spotlights a website, letstalkcost.com, where we have been pleasantly surprised. Thousands of North Carolinians from across our state have logged onto that website and are actively engaged in a conversation with us and with themselves about how to lower health care cost. So what we're hoping this campaign will do, and we believe it has in fact done, is to move and shift the conversation here in North Carolina away from the blame game, help educate people that we're in this together. We're not going to solve the, the health care challenges in this state or in this country by pointing fingers and blaming any one important component of the health care continuum. And so we, we hope that it's gotten people's attention. We believe and have evidence that it's reshaping the conversation. And out of that can come more collaboration, working together to really attack the issues that we face here in North Carolina. Blue Cross and Blue Shield has been involved for, for many years in preventive medicine, not only dealing with individuals, but also communities as a whole. Talk about some of the projects that you're working on. Well, we're very proud of the Blue Cross Blue Shield of North Carolina Foundation, which over the past year has been engaged in a number of innovative programs. We're very proud of the childhood obesity initiative that we have through and with the North Carolina Partnership for Children that will bring education and healthy eating and lifestyles into the daycare setting across North Carolina. We have a goal that by 2013, that working with local communities, that we will actually have a community garden in every county in North Carolina. The evidence is clear, accessible, uh, fresh fruit and vegetables make a difference in the health and health care and lives of real people across our state and we're off and running with that initiative. And we have to think about the dental component of this. Very, very important. And we're proud that we, with a partnership with the North Carolina Dental Society, we now have the latest dental x-ray technology available in a mobile unit that can travel the state with the wonderful dental volunteers like we recently saw right here in the Triangle, meeting the dental needs of the underserved population. A lot of work to do. If you don't start, you won't finish, and we're re very, very proud that we're actively engaged in those community efforts. And of course, if folks want to find out more about the initiatives that are going on at Blue Cross and Blue Shield of North Carolina, where can they go? Well, we can, you can access our Blue Cross, uh, Blue Cross Blue Shield Foundation website or go to our corporate website, bcbsnc.com, and we continue to invite people to join in the letstalkcost.com uh, conversation where we are learning a lot uh, from our customers and others about how to improve health care in our state. Brad Wilson, President and CEO of Blue Cross and Blue Shield of North Carolina, thank you so very much for stopping by and sharing your insights well, with thank us. Thank you for the opportunity, Mitch. It's always a pleasure. 
podcasts on unctv.org are made possible through the financial contributions of viewers like you, who invite you to join them in supporting UNCTV.